Hey folks, I'm Psychotrog, also known as Eric Levine, level 3 judge, and yes, I do still play magic, as it turns out. Now, I know you all think judges are terrible, and you have nothing to learn, but my total rating was once, like, 1880, so you should, you know, probably not listen to me. Especially if I'm even considering keeping a hand like this. We're in a Scars of Mirrodin block constructed daily, by the way, and uh, we're going to mulligan this hand. We're playing blue-black control. Oh, God. It's a pretty stock list. Um, I mean, when I say that, what I mean is it's a list I took directly out of a daily event. And uh, because I'm not crazy, I haven't really modified it yet. All I've done is sort of play it in some two-mans. And uh, I was doing pretty well in the two-mans. Not that that really matters, but hopefully we'll draw out of this. Hopefully we'll draw some, some cards. I would really like that. Uh, you'll get to see the actual deck when I get to sideboarding. Okay, it looks like we are up against a Tazeret deck here, which is going to be a problem with this hand, because this hand will not be able to do anything about it. Nothing, nothing whatsoever if he's got a land and a Tez next turn. We're going to start getting beaten down by a 5-5 Sphere. Things are going to get ugly. Hmm. Uh, what do we got? It is a Glimmer Point Stag. Okay. All right, this might be... I ran into a blue-white-black deck the other day that ran Glimmer Point Stag and Venser and this and that and the other thing. So I think that might be more on the order of what we're dealing with here. We've got the two rebuttals here. Let's see if we can't... Uh, do something about this guy here. I mean, we're gonna get stagged a bit. That's just, that's life. I wanna keep counter mana up. I'd rather get hit in the face a couple times with a with an elk than, uh, than allow things to get out of hand. There's our Singleton Black Sun Zenith. Good job, Black Sun Zenith. Thank you for showing up. Welcome to the party. And my headphones are falling off. There we go. So this guy seems to be on the uh, elk beat down plan, which is fine. We're fine with that for now. We'll go to 14. That's not too much of a problem. What do we have going on here? Is it Venser time? It is time for a tumble magnet. Uh, I don't really care about that, so I'm going to let it resolve. That is just fine with me. Um... At this point, I'm getting a little tired of this stag. So we're going to grasp him. Yes. Where are we? Are we going to get rebutted? We are going to get rebutted. Now the question is, should we counter back? And the answer is, I really don't think so. We will draw another answer. We're at five cards at hand. He's at two, even after we mulligan, so... Even though we're about to go down to 11, uh, off this stag. I'd say we're doing okay. Not doing great. I'm not excited. We're doing okay. Treasure Mage. Uh, he can probably, you know, well, if I let him have that, he gets this and some big thing. And I have to counter the big thing, and then he still has a 2-2. And a 2-2 is kind of a problem right now. So we're going to counter Treasure Mage, which is sort of, well... It's just how it is. I can live with that. He's got nothing else, which is good. That means we live. Um, now I could play the Sphinx here and just hope that he has stone nothing. Um, the problem is he can uh, tumble down for a while on the Sphinx. Uh, I have a problem where I'm often not aggressive enough. So, I might need to actually do something here, instead of just losing a bunch of life. But I'm going to lose the life anyway, so I might as well just let him try to play things. And then either he'll play a creature, and I can zenith both of them for value, or I can counter something. Or he'll do nothing, and just attack me with an elk, which is most likely, and I'll look like a fool. 
maybe one day I'll draw another removal spell. Hey, that, that day, it turns out that day has come. I call it now. Let's get rid of this stag. And if you think my lines of play are not particularly sophisticated, like I said, I don't play magic a lot anymore. I used to. Used to moto a lot when I was, you know, unemployed. Now I have a job and a life, and my life has only recently expanded to re-include magic online. So hooray for me. <clears throat> Here's a sphinx that will probably get countered. Nope. Okay. So resolving sphinx is insane, as you're about to see, because he's going to draw a card, and then we're going to draw two cards, like it says on the card. I, I mean, I'm sure you know what consecrated sphinx does. It also kind of looks like a big flying ant or something. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that art, but I would like to use the ability, and how. All right, we got some good ones here. What do we got going on? We have a Phyrexian Rebirth. Okay. That's a 1-1, one, one, a 1-1 one, one horror. He has Phyrexian Rebirthed my Consecrated Sphinx. We did still draw two cards off of it. I'm not complaining. Speaking of drawing cards, there's the one Blue Sun Zenith in the main deck. But we're going to play a Treasure Mage. We're going to play a Treasure Mage, and we're going to go get a very surprising creature. And here you can take a look at my deck list. We're going to go get the shocking Wormcoil Engine. I know you are all surprised to see <coughs> Worm Coil Engine, but here it is. Oh, and he's going to tap that Treasure Mage so he can get in with his 1-1 one, one Horror. I'm so scared that I just can't explain it. I'm so afraid. Terrified, even. Terror afraid. What if I try to attack with the treasure mage? Ah, no, I would I would get to, but I don't want I don't want to attack with treasure mage. Uh, I want to cast worm coil engine though. I want to. I'll leave a island up to represent steel sabotage. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, we got rebutted, right in the face. Stoic face rebuttal. All right. And our treasure mage is getting tapped down to get through with that horror. I am horrified by this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this seems like kind of a playground slap fight right now. We're kind of flailing at each other. What has he got going on? Okay, that could be a problem. That could actually be... A real kind of issue. So here is what we are going to do. We are going to do some sweet business. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. Because we are going to make what is very likely a completely horrible play. We are going to Black Sun Zenith for one here. I can't see how this makes any sense. Why am I doing this? Probably because I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. Oh, he's letting me attack. I will attack Elspeth. Elspeth, you are a problem that I would like to solve by punching you with Treasure Mage. I don't know if that will work, but I would like to solve you that way. Oh, why don't you gain a life for each nothing? Don't control. Now the question is, do I want to cast Inspiration for five mana here? And the answer is, I kind of think I have to. Let's get motivated. Let's get inspired. Let's not get countered. Don't counter this! Miracle. Alright, so here comes the shores. Um, we're gonna... Yep, okay. I sort of expected that. So now he can make one ones. But what he doesn't know is that I have a secret plan that I call Nurok Commando. My secret plan is 
to have a guy. A fantastic plan, I realize. We might be doing some really embarrassing things this turn to kill Elspeth. I'm just saying. It might get real ugly. No, you can't have that. I don't like you. Please counter you. I don't like treasure mages because I don't like anyone else to have treasure. Is that so wrong? We are going to do some amazing stuff right now. We're going to play a skin render. That skin render is going to do some ridiculous stuff. I bet you can't wait to see what skin render is going to do. Oh, you're going to kill a soldier! Now I bet. I bet you're wondering, Eric, you can't really be go for the throating a soldier. And I would say to you, oh, no. No, I'm not, but I'm probably grasping it. I don't know which is right. I'm pretty terrible at picking the right removal spell. And now we're going to bash Elspeth to death. We're going to lose a Nurok commando, which is very depressing. But it's going to happen. These things, they happen. Commandos die. That's just, it's the life of the commando. I wonder what his name was. Perhaps it was Firebird. Actually, that's a terrible commando name. My topical references never cease to amaze. Oh, what do we got going on? We got a little bit of the tumbles. That's fine. He can tumble. I don't I don't care about the tumbling dice. He can do as much of that as he wants. We're going to save our counters for real stuff. We are also very excited to draw New York Commando here. And we are being allowed. We are being given the unprecedented chance to just bash. Because he is saving his counters for something that will likely never come, knowing how my draws work out. Plus, we've already played one Worm Coil Engine and one Sphinx, meaning there's one Worm Coil Engine and two Sphinxes left in the deck. So there's really not a lot for him to be waiting to tap. Uh, we're just going to F6 through that. No, no, not go for the throat. In real life, I would never accidentally mulligan this hand. Uh, I mean, whoa, I'm not PV. Not even a little bit. Time to declare attackers. Beats. Punching. Yes, I do. I do wish to use the ability and draw a sweet, sweet dual land. Okay, that's fine. Are you going to do anything? See, the thing I've noticed about block is that no one does anything. Nothing actually happens. Unless your opponent is playing like Poison or Goldotha Red. Which I did run into the other day. That was unpleasant. I got kind of punched in the face by Cold Out the Red in the tournament practice room. For what that's worth. Do I even want to play this? I mean, I guess it seals the deal. Probs. But if he counters it, I'm not going to force back, if you know what I mean. Alright, let's send in the humans. Because, you know, they can handle it. We would like to draw a card, yes. I would love to use the ability. I guess we'll play the Sphinx. We'll get unnecessary up in here. What if he plays, like, you know, X-Cats or something? Does, this, does my opponent play X-Cats? If not, why not? It seems like the kind of deck where X-Cats might be really good. All right, we've drawn a seal bleh, 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 seal sabotage. Um, nobody's getting kissed by a rose with this card in our hand. Oh, speaking of no and counters and no and good lord, please never let this happen. We're gonna counter spine of Ishsa. Oh, are we gonna? Uh, we're gonna fight about this. All right, I will fight you to the ends. Of uh, the earth, sir. I will rebut you stoically, and we are the winner. All right. That means it's time to sideboard, something I have no idea how to do. Uh, 
He had some artifacts, notably Spine, but I don't feel like I need Steel Sabotages. Um, I feel like he is a control deck. We don't need this many skin renders. What we do need, however, is maybe some stuff that he will have trouble dealing with, like Precursor Golem. Possibly another Treasure Mage. Um, I kind of want to put this other Blue Sun Zenith in. Uh, if I'm going to put in the other Treasure Mage, I should probably put in the Hellkite. Um, but that's more to make sure I don't get Memora sided out of win conditions, I think. I don't really know how to sideboard with this deck, by the way. I don't know if you know that, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Volition Reigns is really important, I think, probably, because it's the only way for me to deal with the Planeswalker, I think, probably. Um, and should I be boarding in Memora sides? I don't, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. Do I need these treasure mages? It's not like, oh, unhandled exception is, is, oh, God, no. But I like sideboarding. No. Okay. Uh, um, oh, please let me board. It's really important that you let me sideboard Magic Online. If you don't let me sideboard, I will be forced to destroy you and your family. Moto. Come on. Okay, come on, we're up a game. Come on, Magic Online. Don't betray me now. I would like to type my password, please. Thank you. Now you now you all know my password's eight characters. I really hope there's still time in sideboarding. I haven't been counting time. I'm just gonna do a shoddy job of sideboarding and then submit. Because I don't really have time for anything else. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to look at Blight Steel Colossus right now. Okay, I have like four seconds probably. Uh, precursor, precursor. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Um, get out of here. Uh, get in there. Get in there. Uh, sure, I don't really know. <laughs> 